reading from last Sunday's epistle lesson from 2 Peter chapter 1. Above all, you must understand that no prophecy of Scripture came about by the prophet's own interpretation of things. For prophecy never had its origin in the human will, but prophets, though human, spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. This is the word of the Lord. With these words, Peter is teaching us that the human authors of Holy Scripture wrote with good motives and good intentions. Their hearts, their minds, their thoughts and emotions were all in the right place because throughout the writing process, they were, as Peter said, carried along by the Holy Spirit. That means the message of the Bible is a message from God. And what is that message? Well, the Bible shows us our sin and calls us to repentance. It shows us our sin and our need for a Savior. The Bible shows us our Savior, Jesus Christ, and describes his atoning sacrifice on the cross for us and for our salvation. And then it describes his victorious resurrection from the dead on Easter Sunday. The Bible shows us our sin, and it shows us our Savior. And since today is the first day of Lent, I'll add this. The Bible also encourages renewed devotion to God's definition of holy living. Not our own definition, but God's definition of holy living. It's another way of saying, serve the Lord with gladness. The message of the Bible is a message from God and it's a message about eternal life and eternal salvation. May God richly bless your daily study of his holy word. May God richly bless you throughout this Lenten tide as you prepare your hearts to celebrate with heaven and earth the joys of Easter. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, because you hate nothing you have made and forgive the sins of all who are penitent, Create in us new and contrite hearts, that we, worthily repenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may obtain from you, the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.